On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Hot Folders in ProPresenter 5. Welcome to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk about using software in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation, by the way. So either leave a comment below the video if you're watching this on YouTube or TrinityDigitalMedia.com, or you can always leave a comment over at my contact page. Got one today. TrinityDigitalMedia.com slash contact. And there you can ask your questions, which I'll answer either on this show, if it's a longer question, or I'll answer over on the um, Q&A show, which is released every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. And depending on the time of the year, either uh, minus 5 UTC or minus 4 UTC from the Eastern. So let's start talking about hot folders. Hot folders are something that basically allow you to provide a link where when you change something in the folder it will update in ProPresenter 5. So let's head on over to my computer and I'll uh, show you more about that. So here we are in ProPresenter 5 and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here in the video and image bin and I'm going to click on it and new hot folder. Now keep in mind that the video image bin isn't where you play things from, although you can, but ProPresenter doesn't have those queued up ready to go, so you might get a little lagginess. And I've got a question that we'll talk about on Friday's show about that. But anyway, so let's say that I want to use my external drive so I'm going to go click on the Land of Giants here, which is my external drive. I'm going to double click on Video, then go to Screencasts, Pro 5. No, actually, that's not what I wanted. I want to use the Pro 5 Mini course, and more specifically, this folder. Now, if I were to expand that, you'd see that it just has one video in this. And if you haven't signed up for my free ProPresenter 5 mini course, you really ought to do it. So anyway, all that to say, let's say I'm using this video. So I click this, that brings me over here, and it only has one video in it. Well, if I go over here, you'll see that I have another mini course video. In fact, I'm recording the third one right after this show. So I'm just going to drag and drop that in there. And when I do that, I expect that, yes, it shows up down here. So basically what that does is it means that I don't have to update this folder every time. So if I wanted to, let's say I have an announcement slides, as long as I download them into the same folder every time, they're going to show up here. Now I might need to do things like, uh, these are foreground videos, so I want to set those to stop. But you see how that just makes it a lot easier to set this up. If I was at a remote campus, I might have this set up so that I can automatically get the videos from the main campus just in ProPresenter so they're there when I need them. That is a pretty cool feature but there's another feature here that I want you to look at as well. So we're going to go up here and go to Preferences. Bingo. So under Preferences I have a little choice, um, where is it, general I think, yep, so general, I have manage media automatically, so what does that mean? 
When I check that box, that means that by importing something, it's going to put it in the folder where it lives. And in this case, that would be movies, uh, the user, and then movies, or pictures for pictures, or re renewed vision media. Basically, it's just going to put it in there automatically. So if I'm in the habit of putting stuff on my desktop and then I just leave it there and then eventually I have to put it in storage and it's just all kinds of craziness don't have to worry about that anymore I can just check that I just unchecked it because in this case I prefer to leave it unchecked and it will manage the media it will put it in the appropriate folder automatically so that's something that's pretty cool as well so you can use those two features hot folders and the managed media to get good control of your media in ProPresenter 5. Well I hope that helped you. I hope that that was something where you thought oh, that's great why didn't I think of that? Well that's just one of the many features in ProPresenter 5 that you may not know about. There's all kinds of fun stuff that they've added like those two features and I hope that that helps you. I hope it streamlines your workflow and makes it so that you can spend more time with your family or more time doing ministry. If you like this content, don't hesitate to sign up for my newsletter by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. There you can get a free gift and my free newsletter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.